Let's take a quick look at how EC Water works. Because the electrically converted water that flows from the EC water cell doesn't have added fragrances and dyes like you would find in a neutral floor cleaning chemical, some people may have a hard time seeing the difference between the plain water and the EC water nanoclean solution. I'd like to take a few minutes to show you some ways that the EC water nanoclean solution behaves very differently than plain water. I'm going to go ahead and fill up these two vials for you, one with tap water and one with EC water nanoclean. I'm then going to shine this pocket laser through the solutions. When I shine the light through the water, you'll see it's very clear. When I shine it through the NanoClean, however, you'll see this dazzling light show as it bounces off the bubbles of the dissolved gases precipitating out of the solution. These bubbles are not the nanobubbles we were talking about earlier, but are large bubbles that will rather quickly dissipate. The nanobubbles, however, will stay active in the solution for at least two minutes to provide the cleaning power, long enough to allow the solution to dwell on the floor for stubborn soils. Now I'm going to go ahead and take two vials, one filled with plain water, the other with EC water nanoclean solution. Now here I have a piece of European candy that's well known to react strongly with diet soda in many viral videos you may have seen on the internet. I'm going to go ahead and cut it in half and put one half in each of these vials. Within a few seconds, you'll begin to see a European candy cloud begin to form on the nanoclean side. While both water and nanoclean will eventually dissolve the candy, you will see here that the nanoclean is working much faster and more effectively floating the particulate to the top of the solution, thereby on the nanoclean side, increasing the likelihood these particles would be picked up by the scrubber's squeegee as it recovers the solution from the scrub head. For this last test, we're going to once again add water and nanoclean in two different vials. This time, you'll see that I added some glitter to the bottom of each vial. Now, you'll soon see from this test that nanoclean is great for cleaning glitter from the floors of craft stores and fairy princess castles. But rest assured, we have also done this test with other more typical soils like clay. So you'll see on the tap water side that the general direction of the particulates is down while on the EC water nanoclean side, the general direction of the particulates is going up. If you imagine this were the scrubbing solution underneath the scrubber, you would see that the scrubber with the nanoclean will be much more likely to pick up the soils with the squeegee. But with all this sediment at the bottom of the tap water vial, the squeegee is much more likely to leave soil behind. So, as you can see, even though it might be a little hard to see the difference without taking a closer look, you don't have to look too far to clearly see the dramatic difference between water and EC Water Nanoclean. Thanks for stopping by for the demo today, and if you'd like more information, go to tenantco.com.